Hello, uh, Paul here. Um, I'm here to talk about uh, some unknown features about the iPhone. Uh, I will be talking about screenshots, voice control, how to find your data usage, how to find your uh, existing storage, uh, location services, also, um, which is GPS on some apps, and also that Wi-Fi box that pops up um, that could get annoying and also how to reboot your phone. First I'm going to talk about uh, is the screenshot and that you would use uh, you would hit the home button and the top sleep wake button at the same time to create a screenshot uh, which uh, when you do that, it makes whatever it whatever it is on your on your screen into a photo. You may need to use that to resize an existing photo, or use it to save a picture of a high score uh, of a high score you got in a game. I use it in Safari to create pictures of things of interest. So uh, just say we want to go into photos and resize a picture so we go into photos here's a picture that's pretty small so you can resize it however way you want tap so all the other stuff goes away now hit the home button and the top button at the same time and then you'll see a white flash so then now once you go back to your camera roll you'll have that new photo now voice control voice control you could use mainly while driving or if you're using gloves uh, all you do is just hold down the home button and speak whatever you need uh, to be done like I'm gonna call my voicemail so I'll say call voicemail so here we go voicemail calling voicemail just like that see called voicemail now, I'm going to talk about, uh, in settings, your data usage. Go into settings, general, usage, scroll all the way down to the bottom. There you'll see cellular network data. And you could reset your stats if you want. Um, where it says receive that's your current data that you've used and I've used that amount of data since the 19th so that's how you tell how much data you've used and if you want you can hit reset stats and I'll ask you if I want to do that and you say yes and it takes it back down to zero and then it'll keep track of the the time you last reset it and then it'll keep track of your data. And many, if many of you don't know, if you're on a Wi-Fi network and you use your data, it won't go against your data plan. But if you're using 3G, you will be using uh, the data against your plan. Now, to find your existing storage, you'll go back into settings go to general and you go to about now you will scroll down to where it says uh, available here it will show your capacity how much your phone holds and then the available that's how much you've got left and get out of this and now 
location services you go obviously be in general location services and I'll show you all the apps that you've got that ask you if you want to use GPS also known as location services the least amount you have turned on the better battery life you've got and you can turn them all off or you can turn it back on and then it'll repopulate now whenever you go into Safari or your internet um, and it if Wi-Fi networks are around it'll a little box will pop up asking you if you want to join any Wi-Fi networks so that could get annoying I turn mine off uh, so that it doesn't pop up every time but if I want to join a Wi-Fi network I would have to go into Wi-Fi and select the network I want to join so to disable that box from popping up you'll go into settings Wi-Fi and then turn the box off where it says ask to join networks now finally I want to show you how to reboot your phone uh, rebooting uh, helps uh, restart the phone to uh, delete um, front, to make the phone go faster uh, essentially so you will hold down the home button and hold down the sleep wake button at top at the same time and hold it until you see the Apple logo there you go there's the Apple logo and now it'll just reboot and it'll go back to your lock screen so that is it for this video I will post another video soon which I'll go over uh, in a detailed passcode uh, how to disable in-app purchases change the font size or the text size uh, show uh, the preview of text text messages uh, whenever it pops up when you get a text um, instead of it showing the entire text message whenever it pops up I can make it to where it just says text message so it'll be a little more private also to disable those keyboard clicks whenever you type something out that clicking sound that could get annoying also and you could disable that also saving photos in, in uh, Safari in the internet you can just uh, if you like a photo that's there in in Safari I can show you how to save one of those photos to your photo library also importing sim contacts if you get a new phone you can slide in a new sim card or your sim card and just tap one simple button and then it'll import all of your sim contacts to your phone instead of individually adding them so that's the end of my video thank you for watching uh, please subscribe to my videos once you do that you'll be able to uh, see them all uh, without searching and then uh, yeah thanks for viewing and have a great day